how to convert one of these, uh, Seeger SG-1000, into one of these, SC-3000. Basically by adding a keyboard, I guess. Like this one. So, 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 this is the SK-1100. Uh, what is, oh, I know, I know a thousand is to Hapta in Finnish, but I can't remember what it is in, is it to Hapta Sapta? I know it in Finnish. Ich ni san shi go roku shichi hachi ku ju ju chi ju ni ju san ju ju gon ju. I'm rusty. Anyway, so this is the SK1100, which is the SG1000 series keyboard, which, as you can see here, is a keyboard. And, uh, one of the good things about this, I'm not sure if it works, you know, it just sticks down, might need to give that a bit of a thing. Uh, it's got a printer port and it's got a cassette in an output. Um, so you can actually, if you hook this up to your SG-1000, you can actually um, save games, or save games, save software. Um, comes with home basic, not one of these basic level three, level twos, or whatever. Where's the home basic? The home basic. 32k ROM, but only 16k RAM. So I think basic level 3B has got 32k RAM. So it's got less less RAM than the um, than level three but it's got some built-in applications. And it looks um, <laughs> looks a bit different. Let me, uh, I don't know if any of this works. I need to, because the thing is it's, um, it's one of these UHF modulated outputs, not composite. So I need to sort that out first, but basically you uh, get rid of this cover here. It's very easy to remove. And you've got a um, keyed edge connector. Basically stick it in like that by the looks of it. There, okay, there. So it goes like that. Something like that. Um, and I guess, yeah, okay, so it's all powered off here. So power is okay, it's no problem. It's just a normal 2.1 mil, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna have to have a look at converting this to composite first. Yeah, I thought this was something different, something interesting. Let's see what I can get done with it. Uh, here we go, here's the, okay, so it's got a, it's got a what's that? That's, uh, is it a Mark III? It's a Mark III or something. Or SG-1000, or earlier model. Uh, cassette deck, got the keyboard, got the printer. So, uh, this is Connor. So it's a, uh, oh, is that a she? Shisu, um, oh, system. Shishu Temu. Shishu, Shishu Temu. Um, Apu, Apu system app, system app. Uh, Connor SK one one zero zero wa. So this SK one thousand. Video, video game. I don't know the kanji. SG one thousand. So video game, something or other. Um, Shirizu series SG one thousand series or uh, pan, pancon. Pancon, Toshte, and then something suru, so some sort of verb. See, my kanji is really terrible. So, hitagana and katakana is mostly okay. So, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, um, oh, I was going to get the G1000 
check out the different basics. This is what I was able to find. So I've actually got basic 3A, so John Sands. So this is from the Australian SC3000. So this is a newer version, but they've got the same amount of um, RAM, 16K RAM. Plus I've got the uh, SE3000 Survivors Mark II Multicart and the Mega Cart. So Multicart's good because it's got a lot of ROMs on it. Uh, no ROMs, but cassette games, I think, on the Mega Cart. Anyway, so let's us figure out how we're going to convert this. Okay, control is removed. So it's pretty simple. You've basically got your channel select, your modulator out, um, joysticks and power. Okay, screws seem pretty simple. Let me get them done. Okay, various screws unscrewed. Okay, power LED, otherwise that's it. Give that a bit of a clean. Pretty simple. Seventy eight oh five right there with big huge beefy uh heat sink. So modulator's got Four inputs by the looks of it. So I guess that could be video and video sync audio. No, four. Video, audio, five volts. Where is I don't know if you can see it. So I don't know, maybe video, audio, five volts and ground, perhaps. I don't know. Let's have a look. So that, okay. Looks like it's held down by the cartridge connector. On off switch there. Nice and mechanical. Easy to fix if that ever breaks. Uh, da, da, da. Z80, there's the Z80, I guess that's a bit of RAM maybe. No, there's no RAM on here. Okay. Right, okay. Let's undo this. Next. Okay. And the board is out. Pretty simple. Give that a bit of a clean as well. So, what can we do here? Well, we can get rid of this for a start, and then, okay, there's a C sync here, composite sync. Oh, RGB, <laughs> composite sync, RGB, test point. So, really, I should have a look. Hold switch, power switch. Yeah. All right. Well, let me let me get this off. Okay. Heat sinks off. How simple is this? So RGB. So I don't know if that means there is RGB out on this. I'd have to have a look. Obviously, this is this would have been done many times before. But I like trying to figure things out. Do, do, do. So looking at the modulator. Okay, 
Okay, so this is obviously the ground plane. Ground plane. Okay, channel select. So one pin's channel select. Um, maybe that's five volts. And one's audio. One's audio and one's uh, video, perhaps. And then they get um, mixed together in that. Maybe that's what's happening. Okay. So it's pretty cool how it's um, like they've even labeled the uh, regulator. Let me move this around a bit so you can see input, ground, output. That's nice of them. So I am thinking that. Yeah. Anyway, let's see. Let's um, let's get this regulator out first. Okay. Done. Of course, easy way is just to snip the legs off and then suck the solder out. So probably want to replace the electrolytics as well. Um, yeah, I was gonna pop the lid off the. That says, so that's channel, as we already figured out, that one there. Channel, that says B, that says V, and that says A. So, like I think, what we thought at the start, audio, video, B. So, I don't know, I assume that's power. Five volts in to run this thing. Uh, da -da -da. So, what's the best way to... Oh, the old just... Hmm... Can I pop? Oh no, it's okay. It's connected there. I don't really care about keeping this circuit. Desolder again. Maybe. Maybe desolder the can. Might be easier. I really want to get this board a wash. People don't like it when I do that. Um, Yes. All right. So let's get that. Let's get the. Uh, let's get that off. Just looking a bit further. So this is the output. So this will be five volts out. And this goes up to here, which is the link. So there's a link down to there. That's the link, and then into there. So yeah, it looks like that is five volts in for the regulator. Uh, yeah okay so that's pretty simple so one assumes that I don't know if this is kind of a like if I can just use a emitter follower like we do on other simple things to get the composite out I wonder if that will be sufficient Anyway, let's get this out. Okay, for this type of work, we need the bigger, the bigger tip. That's much better. Now, yes, yeah, so I'm wondering. So this is uh, where, 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 where? RGB, RGB, and sync. Cool. So. I wonder if there is already RGB, RGB and sync out. Um, but it'd be good to have composite as an as a option, if possible. So let me try and get this modulator out. I'm slowly, slowly getting my screwdriver underneath 
modulator can and just doing these in turn until it comes off. Oh, one down the bottom. Almost got it off. Those three are done. Just one down the end. Just about. Come on. Come on. Might need to desolder the signal. Oh, we're going to put this hot iron there. Okay. Okay, it's off. There we go. So, now to gut the thing. Probably take the bottom, the base off. And, um, yeah. Shouldn't be too hard, I wouldn't have thought. Okay, I think that's probably enough for tonight. Because I want to give everything a bit of a clean first. And I'll also do a little bit of research to see what we can do with this. Whether we can use the RGB and sync coming out of the, the main chip here. Okay, maybe tomorrow.